Misha Mishihaike, Studio Editor. Welcome to Martoma Effect. This is Marwala series. Why Marwala? Because it's all started from the, that statement of St. Thomas, our father of faith. We could see this in Bible, John chapter 20, verse 28, where St. Thomas proclaimed, My Lord and my God. In this Marwala series, I will be having young people of Australia with me and they will be sharing their life experiences, especially their encounter experiences with Christ and how they are living a daring life with him, how they are leading their life as a Sira Malabar Catholic in an Australian context. So today with me, Miss Anne Katika, and she is the first full-time missionary, Gapier missionary of Sri Malabar Youth Movement Australia, and she is actually currently serving the Sri Malabar Youth Movement as a national assistant coordinator as well. And she took a daring step, one year, totally dedicating for the youth ministry. So, Annie, I'm so happy to have you here in this uh, Martoma Effect Marwala series. And um, could you please uh, share a bit more about yourself? We would love to know about yourself and your family. Please. Yes. First of all, thank you so much for inviting me here and giving me this opportunity to share my story. So, um, I mean, a bit about myself, I guess. Yes, my name's Anne, but everyone calls me Annie K. So um, about my family, uh, I've got Appa and Amma and my, oh, I've got an older brother and a sister and they're both married and my sister has two kids as well. So I've got a niece and nephew, so they are my life. And yeah, I, that's a bit about my family, but uh, more about me, I think I am, I guess, a like more than a, a young person in Australia with the Australian background, um, I'm, I'm, a proud I'm proud to say I'm a daughter of Christ and I, I I love that about me as well so yeah that's a bit about me I guess uh, when uh, you moved to Australia I was fairly young I think I was 13 or 14 when I moved so I've got a bit of that's why I say Australian Indian. so I, I grew up here but I also grew up in India so um a bit of bit of both best of both worlds I'd say so yeah okay so <laughs> pretty much you know you are the uh, zero generation of uh, Sri Malabar Catholic right. uh, in Australia. So that's great. And, uh, you know, I was actually um, uh, telling the audience you are the first full time missionary and you are dedicating the whole year for Christ 2021. So yeah. why you took that daring step? Well, uh, like it's something that came out of nowhere, to be honest. Like I, it's not something I like, you know, like was thinking about for years or anything like that. It's not, I didn't really have like this, you know, story or journey, like, you know, trying to lead up to it or anything like that. Out of nowhere last year, like, you know, mid COVID, it just, while I was discerning a lot of different things, um, it just came out and like, you know, it's like, yep, this is something that you, he, he, this is. You know, I call him the main G. That's my nickname for the for oh, the Lord. Main G. That's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so main G brought it up and was like, you know, mission year. What do you think about that, Annie K? And I was like, oh, I don't know. It's not something I really like. Even like, I love helping people and I love doing volunteer work and you know, youth group. I'm part of SMIM and stuff, and it's great. But I just didn't think, you know, quitting my job and you know, doing this as a full-time thing was something that I would be able to do. And, you know, but it was just, I, I prayed about it and I prayed about it and it just kept calling. I just kept getting that call and that he wanted me to do this. Like, like he wanted me to do it for him, but with him, you know, and, I, you know, at the beginning itself, I was like, I'm not going to do this if you don't do this with me. So I left it to him and laid it to him and I said, yeah, fine. All right. You want me to do it? That your will be done. So here I am doing it. And actually you are just mentioning now, you know, like for him and, you know, like with him. And that was a call a disciples got as well. You know, yeah. Jesus called them to be with him, uh, to go and preach the good news and drive out the demons. 
and you were saying with him. So could you please, you know, explain how you are spending your day or how you are saying, uh, you know, like you are experiencing that with him? Yeah. Um, well, for me, I'm not a serious person. If, if, you know, you guys meet me or you know me, I'm really not like, I'm just, you know, I'm all over the place. But I, to me, prayer isn't a serious thing either. It's just a conversation between me and the main G. So, you know, it's just about, you know, coming together and spending that, like whether it's uh, usually at nighttime or you know, I'm not a morning person. Which I'm trying to change that, but you know, usually at nighttime I have like these candles up, so it smells nice. Put the music on, like a bit of like nice, like Christian music, and just just have that time with like just me and him, and like you know, it it is just an opportunity for me to just talk about how my day went, or you know, how I even if I like you know I don't really feel like praying, I just sit there and just enjoy the music and just feel his presence. And I think something that really helped me. Um, you know, throughout this was not something I used to do, yeah. but was reading the Bible. So I always used to be so frustrated that, you know, I wish you lived here like right now. Like, you know, those people back in the day are so lucky. They get to like conversate with you and stuff like that. And I just felt annoyed that I couldn't, you know, have a conversation with them. And I remember um, a few, few years ago, someone said, uh, you know, Annie, like, this is the way, you know, he com he communicates with you, like, to the Bible. Mm -hmm. And I was like, whatever. I was like, you know, you know, I didn't believe it. And then one time when I was so frustrated, I was like, you know, I was, like, challenging him, you know, talk to me. And then so I prayed about it and I opened random page opening in the Bible and it was amazing. It was exactly what that situation was calling for, exactly what I was praying and exactly what he like now I know especially as well, that he wanted me to hear at that time. And from then I just slowly, not, you know, I'm not, you know, thinking yeah. there, but I'm slowly starting to read the Bible. And like my favorite, I guess, way is the Eucharist. Like I just love spending time with the Holy Eucharist. And yeah. Kurbana is my favorite. I just think it's just like peaceful and just so, I just love it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so you were actually, you know, like mentioning about um, three things mainly, you know, like you're spending a quality time, a very personal time with the Lord. Yeah. And uh, you are reading and meditating Bible yeah. and you are actually celebrating Holy Kurbana every day. That's right. Yeah. So, um, you know, we will be continuing this discussion, but um, we will finish this episode here. Sure. God bless until then, I am Sojin. And I am Annie Kay. And this is Martha Mark.